Good day, and welcome back to the Vitality Project. I'm Dr. Bob, I'm glad for you to join me today, thank you. In our most recent post here, we took the subjective or qualitative dimension of recovery and we dove even deeper into it. Straight into what we talked about in terms of uh, what is the purpose of our new lives? Uh, uh, once, once we've gained sobriety, what's the meaning or the purpose behind that for us? I'll say this much, and this much is true for me. I don't know that I've seen anyone sustain truly successful recovery. That is where they are vital and alive uh, many more days than not. I don't think I've seen anybody sustain that kind of recovery without being first clear on why recovery matters uh, to them and then, and then aiming or growing in that direction. It's required for them to, to, to grab a hold of something like a North Star that really guides their lives in recovery. Uh, in this way of thinking about it, a meaningful life, a purpose-driven life, ends up being both the means to and the end goal of long-term recovery. Let me repeat that. The means to long-term recovery is personal meaning or purpose, living one's values on a daily basis. That's the means to recovery. It's also the end goal of recovery, which is to be able to do that. So I hope that that's clear. I think it's very plain and simple and it's right at the core of, of sustained recovery. Uh, only when we've clearly identified uh, for ourselves, what it is that, that we want most in our lives. Can we really find the, the incentive necessary to, to maintain the hard work, especially initially, of regaining a life truly worth living in recovery? The only way we can do that is to have a very firm grasp of what it is that we want for our lives. Only then does our managing challenges that life throws our way, it's only then that managing those challenges assumes genuine importance in our lives. Now we have a reason. It's only then that navigating the adversities that we encounter really matter. We want to navigate them. Now we have a reason to build and implement skills for what I call bouncing up and bouncing back. And that's our working definition of resilience from stress. Bouncing up, bouncing back. Which brings us now full circle to where we started a few posts ago, which is we've been laying the groundwork to examine high risk situations. These are circumstances in which um, we have felt ourselves thrown off track. Uh, that is, unless we're prepared. And so we want to look at that. So for today, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to name three high-risk situations. These are challenges that you faced, life adversities. They can be either be in the past or they can be something that you're thinking that may be arising again in the future. Things that throw you for a loop in your own personal recovery. High-risk situations. And remember this, to live a life of meaning and contribution requires that we be honest with ourselves when we're feeling especially tested. So when we're tested by high-risk situations, it's at least important to begin with to be able to identify them in order to be able to cope or manage with them. So what are three tests that you've encountered or might still face? Uh, let's see what comes up for you and then bring that back to our next post. I want to thank you again for joining me today. Please stay safe, be well until we meet again. Take good care.